said we got to go demo them, so we did that this morning. Uh -huh, we had to go course. ride one, and I loved it. I was like, I love it. It's that good. Yeah, it is really good. I was really impressed, actually. You know, I've never ridden it in my life, and uh, it was a great bike. It really was awesome. I was still on Delta T about the commercial I saw for it, where it showed the guy cleaning up his Harley, making it nice and pretty, and, and taking great care of it. And it's on. It's a good bike. I think you know. Now that we have a choice, I think that they put a lot of work in. We spent two years putting it together, and uh, they they've really thought of everything. I think you know, whole 111, you know, Harley's 110. Like they've really put a lot of fine detail into it, and it rode great. I decided, you know, I've had two Harleys, and I decided now that I want to get rid of one Harley. So I want to have one Harley, one Indian, and one big one. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Now, hold on. What about three? Where do you think you used to ride three wheels? Yes, I used to ride this bike. Yeah, and? I'm, I'm beyond that. <laughs> <laughs> South Dakota should adopt the law where we can split lanes. That would that would cut down a whole lot of overheating and like unbelievable. We could just like ride right down the middle. Oh, you wait. You mean you mean the traffic on the south? Uh, uh, where you can you want to split lanes yeah. in town? Yeah, Holy absolutely. Crazy. Oh no, there be accident after accident after accident. Tell me, I mean, I've seen people do the lane splitting. That just looks plain stupid. I would use it as it's more crazy than stupid, but it is, uh... In L.A., yeah. But, it, you know, I mean, it, it's, you know, you move there, you live there, you, you learn to do it, you know, you split lanes at 70, 80 miles an hour. I it, call Lloyd the texting police, because you know, he sees people texting all the time, you know, they're sitting in traffic and they're texting, and he just, bam, right on their window, and they just look up and they're like, holy shit! <laughs> but it saves time, I mean, you know, I mean, the old school, you know, you used to overheat or whatever, and they've adopted it, and we're the only state that allows it, but... I gotta tell you, no, it's saves time. My, my commute to work, 17 miles, takes me 21 minutes every day. It never changes, regardless. Yeah. In LA? Yeah, that's, wow. that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. So, uh, you're out here, what have you been I, I want to know what it's like, because you guys live in a different world. Than you right? <laughs> how is that possible? What do you mean, how is that possible? We didn't get invited to this. Yeah, 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 let's talk. Oh, this is the uh, industry party at the Buffalo Chip. And they've got some bikes that they're going to be auctioning off. And, uh, you know, it's all about fundraising. Woody um, Rod Woodland is really, really good about raising money. All week he's doing charities. So today we talked about Rod Woodland. Yesterday we were over here for Leva. Leva was correct. Rod Woodland. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah. Heard that. Are you kidding me? This guy's crazy. Like, he knows his whole thing. He's correct. Did he have a neon vest on? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the best. No, I mean, and to, you know, I mean, you got people like Jesse Combs, <laughs> Laura Paul Cruz, Rod. She built a bike. They're auctioning off of the belt, like the uh, biker belt on Tuesday. You know, oh yes, it's, everybody come out to the biker belt. It's, it's awesome. I mean, when you, when you start putting all those people together to build bikes, to auction them off, and, and raise money for uh, charity and, and the, the charity. At risk, young team. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, it's just, it's just great. You know, people that have the opportunity to do something to give back, they're all here. That, that's kind of what makes it special. Because there's a lot of people that have a lot of money and a lot of talent that can actually. Scott, you were here last year and you got invited back, so that's a good sign to invite you back. Did they invite you or did you just I just said I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, the they were like, oh, it's Christy again. <laughs> well, the good thing is our trailer's in the same spot, so we didn't get demoted, but we didn't get upgraded either. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, did, did you go ride today? What did you do on a Sunday? We did. We got up at uh, 6 o'clock and cleaned the bikes, and we headed out to Spear Fish Canyon out to uh, Cheyenne Crossing for breakfast. The best breakfast. People in, there are in, so in, nice. In, 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 uh, in Sturgis. And then we headed uh, back down to Spearfish Canyon. We went to Indian with Demo 
riding on the Indian. They went into Rapid City, Black Hills, Harley Davidson. We saw Vance and Hines, we saw um, Lockworks, Lockworks Kicker Audio. I mean, Audio. it was, we, I mean, we just did the whole game. We're going to have all that stuff in your bike. Oh, yeah. Yes, we are. Okay, I will say. It's like a NASCAR. I will say, I, I am mentioning them because they're my friends. Uh, I'm selling a little bit of demo space right here on my hat and on my shirt. Just for those that can't see us right now. You know what? It, it is truly an amazing thing to get out here. It is yeah. fun. I mean, we, we look forward to it every year. You know, it's kind of fun. You know, it's Halloween for the people that really like motorcycles, but you meet great people. You know, and you meet a lot of people that really just share the same interest. And it doesn't really matter what level whether you're riding a rat bike or a $75,000, you know, custom made, you know, bagger or whatever. Everybody's here for the same reason. That's what makes it fun. I think we should do it twice here. I think we should do first day of summer and last day of summer. <laughs> Two rallies in one summer. Now you're, you're, are you teaching kids to skate still? I am still teaching skating, working for the Los Angeles Games, and uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. So. Kings, do you know our buddy Colin Frazier? I do know Colin Frazier, yeah. You know absolutely. Can you, can you teach him to skate? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know what? Let me ask you this. I know so, Bailey, the mascot. Do you know Colin? Has he gotten to the point where his equipment smells anybody? No. no. Absolutely he's not. He's the worst smelling hockey player in the world. They I all wouldn't smell. say he's the worst, but they all smell. All, it's just horrible. You know, you got to teach him at a young age. Our little boy Magnus, he's playing hockey. We take his equipment home, we watch it every day. Because if you don't teach him then, they get to be 15, they just zip it up, pull it back, and throw it in the back of your car. It's like, no, oh, it breaks, dude. <laughs> get rid of that. Get some new stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, we just side call him trailers, so that's great. Yeah. He was a little bit of a holdout, but I think it's, uh, it's good. Now, uh, since you work with him, do they get no, but I actually got a picture. The cup came to my rink because I run one of their auxiliary rinks, and I got Magnus a picture holding the cup. And uh, he probably has no idea what it's going to be when he gets old. He's going to be like, "Yeah, I got a picture with the Stanley Cup." I'm like, yeah, you do, buddy. Yeah, so, it's yeah, cool. You to yeah, you got to touch it, hold it, hug it. So uh, there are some parts. Oh, yeah, that's good. Are you, what, what are you doing? Are you are you acting? Where where are you going to be? Where are yeah, be? I've got my web series, which is still on, which is um, Little okay. Women Big Cars. Right. And don't say big women, little cars. <laughs> I know that's what you were going to say. And it's not that. It's little women, big cars on AOL. And um, and then I have, I just did a movie called Storm Rider, which is coming out. I did Mom and Dad Undergrads for Hallmark. Um, I'm going to shoot uh, another episode of Psych, which will be Psych this summer on USA Network. And then I'm going to go do a Beethoven movie. You know, the What's dog? The dog? Yeah. Out of your, your <laughs> 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 it's so it. Hollywood. There's a red carpet over yeah. there, for God's sake. But it's still Sturgis, so <laughs> they're right. not wearing yeah. the tuxes yeah. or anything, yeah. which is cool. Yeah. Anything but goes, I am in a dress, dress tonight. I thought I'd, you know, dress it up. There you go. Very nice. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Thanks Our pleasure. Thank us. you so much.